predictions for day four of the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, beginning with the, first, the Group E games, Germany versus Japan at one o'clock British time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be brave. Oh, I'm gonna be brave. It's gonna be a two 0 victory for the Japanese. I know that's a very, very bold, sta bold statement, but if Saudi Arabia can do it against Argentina, I can't see why Japan cannot. I mean, Japan put in some decent, friendly displays over the summer, beating America 2-0, whilst, of course, Germany only narrowly escaped relegation from the Nations League. Next up, Spain versus Costa Rica, and it's going to be a very boring 1-0 victory. It'll be held at 4 o'clock British time. And um, neither team look like they have prolific goal scorers. Costa Rica looks seriously old and slow now. It is almost certainly going to be a game where Spain will will have 80% possession. Costa Rica will camp out in their own half. I mean, they're probably going to have to put on young legs towards like the last 30 minutes so that they can try and do a few counter-attacks. I think it's almost certain the first hour of the game is going to see Costa Rica hold tight. And then when Costa Rica put on a few fresh legs, I think that will um, put their shape out of joint. And Spain will capitalise on a, on a defensive error in the last five minutes. And Costa Rica will be going hope will will lose their first game. As for the group F games, of course, Morocco and Croatia will be the first teams to kick off at what will be ten o'clock British time. But as it is, um even though both teams are struggling to score goals right now, since they don't really have any prolific goal scorers, I'm gonna go with a one one draw. I think that sounds very fair. Morocco have got a bit of quality with Siek and, of course, Hakimi down the wings, but I'm struggling to see where their main goal scorer is, and I'm also struggling to see where Croatia's main goal scorer is, considering they've been playing the likes of Anti Budimir up front and a few other journeyman strikers up front ever since the retirement of Mario Mandzukic. But Luka Modric is still there, pushing 38, but he's going to be winning the troops on. Of course, Croatia... Finish runs up at the last World Cup, and whilst everyone knows it's highly unlikely they'll do the same thing, well, who knows, eh? It, it, they might actually go one better, but frankly, that's you, you've got to be in fairyland to believe that. And of course, the final game of day four, of course, Belgium versus Canada, and I will be going for a, another surprise victory. A 1-0 Canadian win over the Belgians. Belgium have been looking very tired, very slow at the back. Aldevira and Vertonghen are pushing 35 years old. They're playing back home for the likes of Anderlecht and their local clubs. And they were they lost the friendly game to Egypt last week 2-1. Of course, Mo Salah scored twice. And Egypt failed to qualify for this year's World Cup. So... Canada, I think, are really going under the radar and I think might have a chance. They might just have a chance as long as they play their cards right. But if you want to come back for more videos, please like, subscribe, peer at Siren Football again next time.